15 Best Places to Visit in Austria Sitting right in the heart of Central Europe, Austria is a country that delights travelers with its alpine mountains and grand imperial heritage. With a trip to Austria you can spend your time exploring stunning cities full of culture, swimming in crystal clear lakes, or skiing down epic mountain slopes. These are all the places you need to know about when planning a visit to this beautiful country. 1. Vienna A natural place to start when you visit Austria is the country's capital city, Vienna. Vienna is home to some of the best-known tourist attractions in Austria, including many elegant royal residences like Schönbrunn Palace and Belvedere Palace. Other striking landmarks in the center of the city include the Rathaus and Vienna State Opera, plus St. Stephen's Cathedral and Karlskirche which are both equally as impressive. The Albertina Art Museum and the Art History Museum are two of the city's finest. On the lighter side of things you'll find quirky buildings like the Hundertwasser House and the delightful Prater Amusement Park. 2. Salzburg Famous for its connection with the sound of music. The Mirabel Palace Gardens is where you'll want to go to see one of the filming locations of the sound of music. But there are also many other captivating places to see in the old town. Especially get ready gas with its antique store signs. Salzburg is also famous for being the birthplace of the renowned composer Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and you can see the house in which he was born. As well as the Mozart residence where the family lived in a large statue of the man in Mozart Platz. With a great selection of museums over in the Dom Cartier by the city's majestic cathedral. Watching over it all is Hohen Salzburg Fortress, a mighty castle full of history that defines the city's skyline. 3. Innsbruck Another major city in Austria that travelers won't want to miss is Innsbruck, which is out in the west of the country. Surrounded by the Alps, Innsbruck is a destination that combines winter sports with distinguished imperial architecture. Down in the city's old town is a selection of fine historic landmarks tied to the old Habsburg dynasty. With the elaborate golden roof, the city's most iconic landmark thanks to over 2,000 gilded tiles on its roof. Innsbruck's old town is also home to its very own Hofburg Palace, a former imperial residence, and the gorgeous Gothic Hofkirche. Otherwise, you can just roam the medieval old town and admire the scenery of these historic buildings which sit along the Inn River with the snow-covered Alps popping out beyond the rooftops. Above Innsbruck are the ski fields of the Nordkett mountain range, accessible from the city center via funicular in just 20 minutes. 4. Hallstatt the stuff of postcards and travel brochures. Hallstatt has been risen from its valley amidst the gorgeous Salzkammergau to become something of the poster boy for Alpine Austria and its charming medieval towns. It comes complete with terraces of ivy clad, half timbered chalets that glow in hues of pink and wood brown against the reflections of the shimmering Hallstatter Sea, and is oft hailed as the single most beautiful town in the country. But it's not all about the looks here. During the first millennium BC the town figured as the center of a salt mining boom in the upper Austrian region. And today visitors can spy out the tunnels of the 2,500-year-old Hallen salt mine. And a fantastic heritage museum that chronicles the ancient history of the town to boot. 5. Graz A glorious old town heart and a lively student might make Graz one of Austria's best-loved and most fun-loving cities. Anchored on one seriously attractive inner tot that fuses everything from Renaissance to Gothic to Slavic architectural styles between its cobbled streets and sea of red tiled roofs. The center here is awash with fascinating historical sites. Like the Schlossberg Hill, complete with one curious clock tower, and the Styrian Armory. Where a whopping 32,000 guns, swords, suits of armor, and more stand testimony to the city's one-time place on the frontier between the Ottoman Empire and Western Europe. 6. The Gross Glockner High Alpine Road The veritable roof of Austria as a whole makes its home amidst the chiseled summits and rugged peaks of the Hohe Tower and Massif. Here, on the very divide between Carinthia and the Zillertal Alps of the Tyrol, the mighty Gross Glockner soars to a whopping 3,798 meters above sea level. 
a symphony of peaks and glacial valleys that rises to the Klein Glockner subsummit before hitting its highest point on the Gross Glockner proper. The mountain is now the second most popular tourist attraction in the country, second only to the Schönbrunn in Vienna. 7. Zelamsee Combining lovely lakeside scenery with ski slopes. One of the best towns in Austria for outdoor activities. Here you have both the lake and mountains at your disposal. The best way to start a visit to ZLMC though is to explore the town and particularly take a walk along its beautiful lakefront esplanade. During winter, the lake freezes over and becomes suitable for ice skating and you can take ski lifts up to the slopes on nearby schmidt Nohe Mountain. Come summer, you can take boat rides and go swimming out on the lake, or take to the many hiking trails which lead up into the mountains above ZLMC. 8. Badgestein Something of a more regal and straight-laced alternative to the usual Tyrolean timber towns and chalets that pepper the Austrian Alps. Badgestein bursts forth from the deep valleys of the Hohe Tauern National Park in an elegant and irresistible medley of Belle Epoque and Art Deco. In the middle of the town, the gushing cataracts of the Gestein waterfall crash around the pretty facades of 19th-century hotels and restaurants. While fir forests rise on all sides and enfold the whole center in a symphony of green. Of course, many head here for the fantastic skiing during the winter. While others will come in the footsteps of the Empress Sisi, in search of the bubbling spas and natural springs that first made the Gestein Valley a major international destination. 9. Wolfgangsee You really have your pick of lakes when vacationing in Austria. But one that's hard to beat is the Wolfgangsee in Salzkammergut near Salzburg. This serene lake makes for a perfect getaway thanks to its gorgeous turquoise waters, local towns, and surrounding mountainscapes. Visiting the Wolfgang Sea you have your pick of towns like St. Gilgen, St. Wolfgang im Salzkammergut, and Strobel, each boasting charming traditional buildings. There are plenty of ways to enjoy the lake and the crystal clear water, whether it's cycling along its banks, swimming, or renting a boat for the day. Finally. There's the towering mountain of Skafberg that overlooks Lake Wolfgang which is not to be missed. Whether you hike up or take the special rack railway to the top, you'll be amazed by the 360-degree views of the region's many other lakes and mountains. 10. Wachau Danube Valley The Danube River flows right across Austria and arguably its most captivating stretch is the Wachau Valley. This section of the Danube River which flows between the towns of Melk and Krems, is crammed with attractions of all kinds, making it a major player for tourism in Austria. Starting up one end with Melk, you should allow time to explore the colossal and lavish Melk Abbey which dominates the town. From there, follow the river by boat, bike, or car to stop at historic sites like Schönbuhl Castle and the ruins of Eckstein Castle. Soon enough you'll reach the picturesque town of Dernstein, which lies under the castle ruins where Richard the Lionheart was held prisoner. Dernstein is also a great place to sample the valley's local produce, which includes apricot liqueur and saffron. At the far end of Danube lies Krems and Gutvike Abbey, both of which make quite the impression. 11. Hohe Dachstein While there are plenty of mountains to climb in Austria's Alps, Hohe Dachstein is the best one to visit if you want to see glaciers. Hohe Dachstein is actually home to several glaciers including the Hallstatter Glacier, Grosserkasaw Glacier and Schladminger Glacier. This mountain in the northern limestone Alps sits on the border of Upper Austria and Styria and at 2,700 meters, it is the highest mountain in either state. Upon reaching the top of Hohe Dachstein, you'll find a nice variety of ways to enjoy the mountain views. From the thrills of the Dachstein Suspension Bridge, to the precarious skywalk observation deck, and the glass bottom stairway to nothingness, you'll need to be brave to get the most out of your visit. Luckily, there's also the Ice Palace with its intricate ice carvings that's more enjoyable for those uneasy about heights. 12. Badischl At first glance, the town of Badischl in the Salzburg region might look like yet another Austrian spa town. But thanks to its location and close ties with the Habsburg royal family, Badischl is much more than it seems. The spa town sits neatly between the many lakes that lie around the Salzkammergut region, 
making it an ideal gateway for visitors looking to explore places like Hallstatt and the Wolfgangsee. And while Bad Ischl was and is a popular spa resort, it became even more popular when Emperor Franz Joseph L. chose to have his summer residence there. Among the town's various parks and spas, you can still find the Kaiser Villa which became the royal summer residence of the emperor in 1854. Interestingly, it was from the Kaiser Villa that Franz Joseph signed the declaration of war that began World War I in 1914. 13. Kreml Waterfalls Austria has its fair share of waterfalls, and people traveling to Austria interested in seeing them should make sure that the Kreml waterfalls are on their list. This is because these waterfalls in Hohe Tower National Park are the highest in the country. The falls measure a total of 380 meters, falling across three tiers as they plummet down towards the village of Kreml. To see each stage of the falls you can take the four kilometers long path which leads between the tiers, enjoying views from the different observation platforms along the way. Besides the waterfall views, the waterfall trail also takes you into the serene surrounding forest, creating a nice day out in nature. 14. St. Anton am Arlberg Skiing and Austria go hand in hand and many say that St. Anton am Arlberg is the best ski resort in Austria. In fact, this small village in the Tyrolean Alps is often credited with inventing the sport. You can learn about the history of skiing over at the Museum St. Anton am Arlberg, housed inside a traditional alpine chalet. But chances are you're more interested in actually getting out on the slopes. Whether you're interested in skiing, snowboarding, winter hiking, or winter climbing, St. Anton am Arlberg is bound to deliver. Around the village you'll find 305 kilometers of pistes and another 200 kilometers of off-piste itineraries, providing you with plenty of choice. And no matter how you spend the day, you have the fun of prey ski scene to look forward to. 15. Hohe Tower National Park Austria is home to six national parks, with Hohe Tower National Park being the country's oldest and largest, making it another place you shouldn't miss. What's so great about Hohe Tower National Park is the sheer diversity on display, both in terms of attractions, but also wildlife. Roughly half the species that exist in all of Austria can be found in the national park, including golden eagles, chamois, and marmots. There's also plenty of incredible scenery to be seen among the park's many valleys and alpine ranges, with the Kreml Falls and the Paster's Glacier two standouts. Hiking trails and bike tracks throughout the national park make Hohe Tower a great choice for fans of the outdoors, with countless valleys and mountains to choose from. That just about sums up the best places that Austria has to offer visitors. You'll have a hard time fitting all of these destinations into just one trip, so why not plan two? Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive all new.